Well, hello guys. Uh, I got some requests from my friends on Facebook to do some videos on PHP, so taking from the absolute beginnings to the advanced level. So in this video, we are going to talking about how to set up PHP server on your system, both on Windows and Mac. So for that, firstly, I will take you through this uh, MAMP and MAMP Pro. So you can download your MAMP according to your system requirement from here. It is available for Windows as well as Mac. Uh, make sure you download for this one that is MAMP for free. MAMP Pro, this is for the enterprises or uh, where they have to pay for the for the features. But for the development and learning, uh, MAMP will just work fine. So here we have the installation for Windows as well as this one is for the Mac installation. So I'll have mentioned link in the description where you can go and download it according to your system's need. That's basically it. And I have already installed this MAMP in my system. So I'll take you through the first lesson of PHP. So let's go to my finder window. Here I have applications for directory where MAMP is installed here. So if I double click in here, I will see this MAMP out there. Then the folder structure will be the pretty much same for Windows as well as as well as Mac. But if you are using something different like uh, exam, which has another thing. So if I go to exam for Windows mainly on Windows for PHP development, people use exam for that. So the pretty much software directory structure will be the same. All we need to work in this htdocs folder. So this htdocs folder is there in every system if you are running MAM or XAMPP. Let's go to this htdocs folder and here I will be creating a directory. That is a new folder where I will be writing its name PHP Essentials a root project directory where I will be writing all the codes of PHP. To open this folder in the my favorite code editor, I will just simply go to Launcherpad and I will go for VS Code and Developers Tool. You can click where you have. You can open from there. And that will be and now to start this project I can simply over click on this open folder and this will take me to this uh, you can directly click on your application then go to this map directory and where you have stdocs folder and then here, here we go to the PHP essentials now if I open this directory this PS code will, learn, will open it in the project directory so to start the map server you can simply go to this launcher pad and search for the map which is here in my developers tool folder which I have created and I click it I'll get this pop-up window so if I simply start servers it will spin up the server local server on port 8888 so the server is spinning here currently and now if I create any file here so let's start with a basic code and I'll create a file in there that is index.php so by default without writing that page it will automatically load this page here and to start with a PHP tag we need to represent that this is a PHP whatever the code will go inside this is this will be the PHP code so this is the way we are we are telling the browser so this is a PHP code and that has to be that will run on server so let's start first line and that is simply echo so here you can echo out something like say hello world a favorite example of all the time and at the end of every line we need semicolons so if i hit and save so if i go to this page and i just get rid of the other stuff except this port four times eight and slash with php essentials and if i save enter we don't have to say that we are going to open this index.html file so index if i write index.php file it will again load this file for us where we have echoed out this passage so let's take one more example that is for this and we can this is a string so that's why we are wrapping in double quotes but php has a flexibility where we can represent strings in single quotes as well as double quotes so I usually prefer double quotes with my projects lower to 
So that's why I usually use double quotes. And if I save and hit reload again, I will see this twice now. Hello world and hello world two times. So that's basically it for this. Now coming on to the comments, that's the first thing. So to give a single line comment, we just simply write two forward slashes. And here I can type, this is my single line comment. So now this is a single line comment. Uh, this help us in while remembering while when you come across with this code again in future sometime, we can easily find what we have done in this next line to write now multi-line comments. So we, we have to go for the forward stance as it is asterisk then put slash and don't worry I have Emmet installed in my VS code you can go and check out my video on VS code how to use it and make it flexible. So now here I will write my comment so this is a multi line comment for tutorial one. And if I save this thing, now if we check this thing, this won't execute. This, we won't see the code. Here we have our page reloaded and we have our codes again. So now let's go to this uh, basic stuff that is variable. I will be telling something about variables. So to write any variable, we usually follow camel case. That is camel case means if we have a two, uh, first of all, variable should start with a dollar sign that is let's say we have a first name variable and this is a camel case because we are specifying because each and word every word end with the if we have two words in the variable so we can start the other word with a capital name so here I write in the range and we have initialized our first variable so if I echo this out I'll simply write first name we have a variable echoed out now if I reload this thing we have my name in here so let's let's go ahead and initialize another variable so that will be my last name last name remember you are using camel cases so this is Maria and this time I'm gonna type it out with single quotes both will work fine and now if I echo this thing again, echo dollar last name, if I save and hit reload over here, here we have name. Now we can also echo out HTML tags with it. So basic variables. To echo out HTML tags, we can simply write echo and I want to echo out h1 tag. So I can simply write h1 and again h1 starting and ending tags and here I want to echo out my name. So if I simply write first name. It will echo out my first name because we have wrapped everything here. We have Narendra because we have wrapped in uh, double quotes. So this gives us uh, this gives a flexibility where we can echo out each and every double quotes. Now, if I if I go ahead and type this thing again in a single line, and if I write H1 and uh, ending tag of H1, if I write my last name here last name and if I echo out this thing this time this is echoing out the variable name why is that because with a double line we can use variables in between but with a single line this won't work at all so this is pretty helpful thing now let's go ahead and change it to the single code double quotes and if I now reload there we have our my last name So that's basically it. That's a very quick cutter video for you guys. I want you to go ahead and 
play around with the 